Hello, I am Delante G. Keys. Hello, and I'm Jeremy Rashad Brown. I'm the director on Trust Me Love. And I am the assistant director on Trust Me Love. Hi, I'm Jonathan. Uh, I play Paul, the detective. Uh, this is my first time on stage here in Austin. I'm really, really excited to be working with an incredible cast of people. They are crazy and funny and encouraging and motivating and inspiring. And I'm just really humbled to be a part of this group. Uh, we are making this fantastic, amazing, new innovative play uh, based on Kendra's comic book, uh, as well as her original score, her augmented reality, all these amazing things that she's put together. Uh, go look it up on YouTube, Kendra Dobson, she's the real deal. Hi, I'm Aslan Hollier, I'm playing Caster. If anyone finds out that Columbus is dead, I'm the ringmaster, and I don't want that to happen. Uh been with the Columbus Smith Show all the way through, and um, really looking forward to doing the show. I'm hella excited. Can yeah. I say hello? <laughs> <laughs> this is America. What? No. <laughs> it's, uh, we're hella excited to bring this to you. Seriously. Uh, uh, what we're making is like a taste of what the play could be. Mm -hmm. uh, all of its imagination and creativity, and just uh, all the places it can go. Or we're seeing it as a TYA show or theater for young audiences. My name is Kendra Dobson. I am the author of Columbus Myth. And Trust Me Love is the third episode of my radio drama, Columbus Myth. Immediate future for this project. Um, I'm going to start focusing on the comic book first and developing the play, um, taking the play on tour. Um, my target audience is teenagers, high school, so we're going to hit high schools locally and you just get the play out there. Uh, my name is Joe Brundage. I am the stage manager of Trust Me Love, an episode of Columbus Myth. We're a bunch of uh, professional actors, performers, directors in a room trying to bring this thing to life. It's just been such a fun experience. And everybody involved in it is just amazing. They're the best humans. Talented. Yeah, seriously. Seriously. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And the best playwright, uh, Kendra's mind is so vast and this world she's built is so fleshed out and specific and it feels like today and now, it also feels like 50 years from now, but it also feels like 10 years ago. Uh, it just has everything, and it's all uh, plays with this Afrofuturism, so think Black Panther, think 28, yes. think Kanye, I mean, uh, think Wrinkle in Time. I, I think it's at the right time, the right moment, we've got South by going on. I'm just so excited. Uh, Dido's storyline is her specific perspective on what happens in Columbus Smith. So, Dido is a girl stuck between two worlds. She doesn't feel like she belongs in either. The worlds I'm talking about are the public district and the private district. The private district are your entertainers. Uh, they're cyborg. Most of them are cyborg. And they were rejected from the public district because they didn't fit what the public felt was ideal and they were sent to the private district um, as children and fitted with a mechanical upgrade to improve upon their nature. And um, so everyone in the private district is an outcast and um, they have a bond and connection because of that identity. And Dido, our, our main character, is actually human because she was born of two cyborgs in the private district. And the most, her peers, her cyborg peers, don't accept her as one of their own. But Dido does feel that she is a part of their group. If you want life, you have no choice but to stand on belief. If you want life, you have no choice but to stand on open ground, soiled by death. If you choose life, belief is solid ground. What's that supposed to mean? The goal is the life of peace. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just nervous, I guess. You shouldn't be. No one knows that you went with me to delete Columbus's avatar. Even if that detective, Paul, asks any questions, your name will never come up. Gold. I've been 
involved in the art scene here in Austin for the better half of 13 years. I say the better half because that's the half that got better as soon as I got involved in the culture here. Um, I believe very much in not just the art scene here, but in Black Austin itself, which is one of the reasons why I very much love this story that Kendra's given us. It gives us a side of ourselves that, not that we don't get to see, but a side that isn't really spoken about, the, um, the identity of who we are, the fact that we often feel relegated to a subculture with regards to our existence. And I feel like Kendra's work very much shows not only in Dido's struggles, but all the other characters involved, you get layers that show different aspects of existence, not just within our own society, um, but within that of the African American today. This project is for an audience that's already here, but it's also for yeah, a future audience that feels like they, um, they, they might not belong. We're beginning to um, mix racially. Uh, we're all going to be, you know, mixed, not a certain uh, race. I think that in the future, our children, our population are going to want stories um, that reflect who they are. And this is a story for them. Go, 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 go. What was it? Go, go, go. 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 One, two, three, go. 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 Play, say.